Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Luke James is the essence of versatility, crafting love songs that leave you in awe, while also holding it down on the big and small screen. Rashawn and Quad recently sat down with the Grammy-nominated acting extraordinaire. Let's take a look at it. I love the look from head to toe. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you for having me. The platform me. shoes. You know, da, 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 da. You're taking yeah. it back. You know, why not? Why not? Got yeah. a little bell bottom on. You know, you know, it's time to leave. So know. your ankles are feeling very free. Feeling really good, really good. Um, yeah, I just feel good. You yeah, know? good, yeah, it gives good. Me a nice little flow when I walk. Right. You know? <laughs> it does. Yeah. yeah. So before we get into to music, let's talk a little bit about acting and how you've blossomed over mm -hmm. the years. Was acting mm -hmm. something that you always aspired to do or did it kind of happen? Um, I think I had always thought of being in movies and television. It wasn't something I absolutely aspired to do, to be fair. It came to me. Music opened the door for me, for me to be able to try it. Yeah. 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 It just yeah. so happens that it worked. I wound yeah. up being okay at it, so I'm, I'm grateful. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And so we saw a lot of that um, when you were a part of Star, yes. mm -hmm. right? You know, you had an opportunity to exercise your acting chops as yes. well as music. Yes. Um, but a lot of people are still very bombed out about it, really, that, you know, yeah. the show was canceled in the manner in which it was canceled. Me too. <laughs> right? Me, me Come on, I'm check. I'm like one of those ones. Yeah. I wasn't going to say that, but, you yeah. know, I'm one of those ones. <laughs> um, but how do you feel that being a part of Star or your role in Star um, stretched you as an actor, and how did it also stretch you in your personal life? Mm. Well, it was my it, it it's my first TV show, um, just learning the business behind TV and te television, and and also how things are filmed, and and doing such a project uh, for like seven months out of the year with. A particular group of people just having those experiences and understanding how to work together and learning about people and what they like and you know you know because it's a it's a family yeah you know we work together and you know people are human and those experiences and so that that's that's a lot about what I learned how to just conduct yourself and how to make a place that isn't exactly home home yeah even in your personal life yes yeah absolutely um living in Atlanta Mm -hmm. You know, just how to stay out of trouble. <laughs> and, and, uh, what does that look like in Atlanta? That, what does that mean? I stay home. Yes. Yeah. Isolation. <laughs> isolation. But, but, but here's the deal. Is isolation fair? I, I, mm. I would like to think that it's not fair. So why do you choose that route? Well, I love isolation. I'm an only child. So I, I ah, particularly like to be sense. by myself. So I, I it's not a... It's not a thing for me. Who knew you had a gift? Who knew that you were, were special, Luke? My mom. Yeah. It's, it's weird. She'd probably say, say she didn't. She, she knew that I like to do a lot of things. I was, I'm a um, very active child, very imaginative, <laughs> um, showboaty, if you will. Um, but what, I mean, I tried magic. I was trying. I wanted to learn magic. I wanted to be a magician. I wanted. I wanted to tell stories, um, do music, run track, right? All types of things. Karate, a lot of things. Sky's the limit. Yeah, sky's the limit. But my mom, she was just nurturing. She just was like, whatever it is, I sh whatever I showed interest in, she would really try to um, help me pursue it. Yeah. And music was always around me. We always had a piano in the house. I was just raised around art. Yeah. So it just was inevitable for it to yeah. happen, I guess. Yeah. So how do you th connect the two, the, the acting part of you mm -hmm. and the singer-songwriter part of you, and make them both have different lives? Um, wow. I'm a one of one. I do a lot of things, a plethora of things. I just found out I can act. I don't know. Tomorrow I may be able to do something else yeah. crazy, and I will do that. And I have a great team who's supportive, and I think I have intelligent fans that will Take the ride with me. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, they've definitely been riding with you thus far, and you have yeah. a new album. It's it's interesting because you have to feel and then the word love, and then you have a backslash there so, with a D. Tell me a little bit. I, I got confused when no, I saw no, that. It's two, two titles. titles. Okay. Uh, to feel loved, to feel loved. Oh. For me. So present and past. Yes. yes. And it's, okay. a, it's very personal. But most, I think most, art, most albums should have that kind of, um, personality in it that is so that is personal for the artist to the artist um and that's what this album is this album is a bridge to new endeavors uh, being an independent artist um 
I haven't put out music in four or five years. Um, Are you nervous? Are you nervous about this album? No. With it being so long? No. Yeah. Um, you trust, because face? you trust, I, you trust your music. I do. Yeah, I yeah. do. I love what I have. I love what I've, what I've put together. I've taken the, the proper time. It's not something I uh, decided to do. It's just my, it's where, I, it's where I was and where I am, and I'm grateful for it. And it enabled me to see things clearer and see what I want to do, the music I want to put out, how I want to, how I want my art to speak. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. I don't care if no one likes it, but that's... We do want them to buy the album, oh, though. I, I, yeah, I, I but do. I get I what you're saying. I do want them to buy the album, but I am I am not running for president, so I don't... It's okay. You don't yeah. have to get it. I need it for me. I'm an artist, what, 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 and I'm sensitive about yeah, my... Yeah, yeah, just like Erica Badu. Yes. Yes. So you said you needed it for you. So yes. what creative and personal side will we hear in this album? Mm. Um... Love is interesting, and I'm not, not, not saying that I never, I didn't have love around me or whatnot. I just, I didn't quite feel love or feel loved. So I guess the time that I took, it just so happened that I, I just needed to go through that journey of just finding myself. Out. Is that hap what happened between yeah. that four and five years? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because I want your mom to know that she, you did feel loved yeah. by her. For oh, sure. you're talking about no, in no. personal yeah. relationships. Just, yeah. just personal relationships. Okay. No, but personal, <clears throat> deeper, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there love we go. Love me. Love, can I love someone else? Can I love how someone else loves me? Am I able to, do I see myself the way people who I know genuinely love me, do I see that? Um, and also, do I feel that? Do wow. I truly feel that and and, and reciprocate? So, My goodness. Um, and that's what this album is, and that's what the music is, and that's why I titled it that because it's that's that's for me, and I I assume other people feel the same way. I love it. So I'm hoping that when people listen to it, they feel love or they feel loved. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Feel love or feel loved. Well, if you're sticking around for the full hour, we've got more with Luke James. You can get his new album, To Feel Love Slash D, on all digital platforms, streaming platforms. Also, be sure to check him out later this year on Showtime's hit series, The Shy. And don't forget the conversations always continue on all social media platforms at Sister Circle TV. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are back with the also talented and mm. handsome yes, Luke yes, James. Yes, thank you. Yes, it's always good to have you here, man. Oh, thank you. Feeling real good. It's good to be here. So, I mean, I've been watching everybody be on here looking all glorious. Yes, well, we but now you that. are with us. Yeah, bow. <laughs> <laughs> but I really want to have, like, I think for me this is, is something that's a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a little bit about this thing that's kind of, we've been hearing called mm. R and Beaver, mm -hmm. meaning the one that we know, Justin Bieber, <clears throat> is now crossing over to R and B. Is he? That's what the people are, yummy, are saying. Yummy, yummy, yummy. You, you understand what I'm saying? But but here's the deal. For mm. me, I I'm taking I'm kind of taking a, a, a little an issue with that because mm. I feel like true R&B artists are being pushed out and not widely accepted. Whereas you have a pop artist like a Justin mm. Bieber mm. or a many others along that line, and they're being thrusted into R&B R&B and accepted wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. I mean, you as an artist, shed a little light on that for me. What, what, how do you feel about that? Well, um, I think... Well, I, or should I say you as an R&B artist? I think... It's different. Well, it's weird because I, I, have, I sometimes have struggled with that title because I feel that it, once you... Everything's R&B. Mm -hmm. Everything's rhythm, rhythm and, and blues. blues. Yeah. He's not crossing over. He's been doing rhythm and blues. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just... It's just you know, he gets the platforms, he gets the platforms, they get the platforms, that other black artists that are doing the same similar music. Don't get. Um, don't get. Yeah. Um, I don't like the word, the phrasing of it, uh, R&B artist, because I find that it is, um, in the mind, I think that it's like uh, a boxing in. It's, for a black artist, it's hard for, it's hard for us to do other music, um, if it's not traditional R&B. So when I think all music, it's all of us. I mean, country music is black music. Blues is black music. 
everyone follows our music and gets popular off of our mm -hmm. music. And so it's something else. It's not R and B. It's and that's why, you know, I don't know. It's just I think I think if the, the if they just allow allow it to be more equal and let everybody have a, you know, the equal playing field, then it is what it is. Okay. We don't get played on the same radio stations as they do, but they can be on our radio stations. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they are, and they are. So let's start there, yeah. and then, then we'll go from, from there on. Right, yeah. well, well, well let's talk new That's music, good. new mm -hmm. tour. You're doing an eight city tour to, mm -hmm. to accompany your music. Talk a little bit about that and what people can expect. Well, this tour is a To Feel Love tour. Um, it is more like a uh, promo tour. For me to just get closer to the fans, it's smaller venues, more intimate, um, and just connect with my day ones and my new fans um, and trying new things. But for me, it's a new, it's a new page. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm, I'm going full throttle with. Yeah, and also the shy. Yes, the shy. Yes. July fifth, the yes. shy on Showtime comes out. Yes. 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 You excited? Yes, I am absolutely. What's excited. it like working working with the, the the brilliance of Lena Wade? Oh my God, Lena is everything. She's so cool, and we ran across each other like so so many times. Ran into each other so many times, different places, and we always talk about, oh man, we're gonna work, and I and I'm just. I was just elated when this particular project came apart, came came to me, and um, I sent in my tape, and she texted me back and was like, "Yo, you got it." I'm oh, like, "Wow, man, I can't wait can to get that, you know, man. You got you know, it." You know? Yeah. <laughs> can, can you give us a little bit or tell us a little bit about your character? Well, um, he's different uh, from anything I've done. Um, he's 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 rough around the edges. He's sensitive. <laughs> He's sensitive. Are you sensitive? Um, I am a sensitive. Mm, I could tell. I'm very sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, he's a sensitive dude, but he's he's he has a dark past, um, and society has made him uh, build himself up to be something he doesn't particularly love. Um, his name is uh, Victor Trigg Taylor. He's the type of guy that fits the suit but doesn't want to wear it. Yeah. Ah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're All looking right. forward to continue to see you shine. Oh, thank you. Like, because I'm gonna shine. Yeah, All I already right. know. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Claim that manifestation. Absolutely. Boom, boom. Come yes. on. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. We have been so honored to have the amazingly talented Luke James here oh, on Sister Circle Live. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Man, he's a whole vibe. Yes, he is. <laughs> love him. He's absolutely amazing. He you can is. get his new album, To Feel Love, backslash D on all digital streaming platforms. And be sure to check him out later this year on the Showtime's new hit, or hit is not new, The Shy. <laughs>